Here, put the sheet on for a moment while I see if there's anything in the attic. Uh, one pair of gold taps. Oh my god, yes. Who are you? Uh, me, uh, Pixie the Tap. Tax? Income tax? Uh, that's right, Governor. Income, new tap, tap, got old tap. <laughs> tax inspectors everywhere. Hey. Here you are. The other one. I found your dress. It came flying out of the attic at me. Darling, I've got a dress stuck to my head now. Another intruder! I'm uh, just doing the tax, Governor. Uh, tax! No tax on women! I'm uh, trying to think, Governor, but I'll do the tax in the bathroom first. Sex maniacs everywhere! Where's Vicky? Vicky! And uh, people everywhere. I go. Uh, tax on women. Don't know the tax on anything these days. If I can't find it, you're going to be in trouble, you see. And have you seen I'm Vicky? Vicky! <coughs> Darling? Roger! Uh, uh, Jake! Uh, I thought you were coming before, and uh, this is your charming wife. Uh, so you want to see over the house now, do you, Cheek? Uh, right. Well, since you're upstairs already, if it is floozy, I'll break this over the head. Uh, let's start downstairs. Who are you? Who are these creatures? Uh, I'm sorry about this. I don't know who she is. No connection with the house, I assure you. Whereas this good lady with the sardines on the other hand. No other hands, thank you. Not my sardines. This time I'm eating them. It's fully occupied with the sardines. So perhaps the public facilities would be of more interest. Mrs. Pluckett, who are those people? Oh, we get them all the time, love. They're just Arab sheets. Uh, I'm sorry about this, uh, but in here. Arab sheets? Uh, in here we have... Oh, gosh, Gab, now you all gosh have gone. We have him. <laughs> no, Irish sheets. Irish linen sheets off my own bed. I love the thieving devils. In the study, however... You give me that sheet, you devil. Oh, it's you! It's her. It's my little girl. Oh, little Vicky ran away from home. I thought I'd never see you again. Well, would you believe it? What are you doing here like this? What are you doing here like that? Me? I'm taking all files on tax evasion from your inland revenue and that's in store. Oh! Um. So where's my other sheet? Ah, House of Heavenly Peace. I rent it. Hold on. Hold on. I know that face. You're not a sheik. You're that sex maniac. What? Yes, it's my husband. What? Trousers. You take all the clean sheets. Trousers, trousers. Trousers, trousers. You snuffed my bath mat. What? 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 You tossed me aside like a broken china doll. Cap it all, you've got your trousers on. And what you're up to with my little girl down there in bashing stew? It is sure. Question of authenticity, you see, Freddie. Do Arab potentates wear trousers around under their robes? I don't know, maybe they do, but not round their ankles, Freddie. Not round their ankles. Sorry, it's just frightfully difficult doing a quick change without a dresser. Get, to get Tim to help you. Tim! Where's Tim? Come on, Tim! Tim! Sorry? <laughs> oh, yes, right. Uh, I'm sorry, I must have fell asleep down there. Never mind, Tim. Do something? No, let it pass. We'll just struggle through on our own. Tim has to sleep by the sofa while the rest of us run around with our trousers around our ankles. Okay, Freddy, you'll just have to do the best you can. On we go, then. Um... Some other problem, Freddy. Well, since we're stopped anyway, why did I ask? I mean, you know how stupid I am about plot. I know, Freddy. Can I ask another silly question? Oh, my studies in world drama life were just very good. I still don't understand why the sheep just happened to be Felix Double. Oh, uh, because he comes in and we all think he's, uh, you know, and we all, I mean, that's a joke. I see that. My sweet, the rest of the plot depends on it. I see that, but it is rather a coincidence, isn't it? It is rather a coincidence, Freddie, yes. Until you reflect that there was an earlier draft of the play, now unfortunately lost to us. And in this, the author makes it clear that Philip's father as a young man had traveled extensively in the Middle East. I see. I see. You see. That's very interesting. I thought you'd like that. But will the audience get it? You must tell them, Freddy. Looks. 
jesters. That's what acting is all about. Yes. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you. It will be even more powerful when you do it with no trousers. Of course. All right, can we just finish the act? From Belinda's beautiful line, you tossed me aside like a broken china doll. I'm being so clever out here. What's going to be left of the show when I've gone off to do Richard III and you're up there on your own? Right. You tossed me aside like a broken china doll. You tossed me aside like a broken china doll. What? 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 And what you're up to with my little girl down there in batting suit, I won't ask. But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. Brooke! Sorry. Your line, come on, love. We're only two lines away from the end of the act. I don't understand. Give her the line. What's that, Dad? Yes, but I don't understand. It's, what's that, Dad? I, yes, I, I say, I, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, Vicky, uh, and you say to me, what's that dad? I don't understand why the sheep looks like Philip. Poppy, bring the book. Is that the line, Poppy? I don't understand why the sheep looks like Philip. Can we consult the author's text to make absolutely sure? Well, I think it's... What's that dad? Right. That's the line, Brooke, love. We all know you've worked in very crafty places up in London where they let you make the play up as you go along, but we don't have that kind of thing here, do we? Not when the author has provided us with such a considered and polished line of his own. Not at one o'clock in the morning, not two lines away from the end of Act One. Now, we're about to just get a tea break before we all drop dead of exhaustion. We merely want to hear the line. What's that, Dad? That's all. Nothing else. I'm not being unreasonable, am I? Exit. Does it say exit? Oh dear, now she's going to wash her lenses away. Oh good lord. A little heavy with the shorts, I thought. I thought it was going to be Poppy when she, he finally, uh, you know. It's usually Poppy, isn't it, love? I suppose that was all my fault. Uh, but why pick on, you know? Yes, I book. I thought it was quite sweet, actually. A sweet? I'm trying to pretend like you're not having a little thing together. A little thing, Lloyd and Brooke. Didn't you know? Uh, Brooke and Lloyd? Where do you think they've been all weekend? Good Lord, you mean that's why he wasn't here when poor old Tim? Put the set back to front. Have they come? Okay, all is forgiven. I was here, irresistible. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh no. Oh, for heaven's sake. You mean? And here too. Oh, great Scott. Well, that's something I didn't know about. I think I'm going to faint. Yes, sit down, love. Quick, do your meditation. Lap something she didn't know. Hush, love. Two weeks rehearsal, that's all we've had. What happened next? Most exciting. Shh. Oh, oh yes. Shh. Here it comes. <laughs> Yes, this one's feeling a bit, uh, you know. I'm feeling a bit, you know, myself. I think I'm going to. Which? Uh, faint? Or be sick. Need that tea break. You're certainly overdoing it at the moment, love. So can we just have the last line of the act? Uh, uh, the uh, uh, last line? Uh, uh, right. <laughs> But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? Uh, when all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a... Uh... Uh, what? Oh, a good old-fashioned plate of sardines. Uh, what? A good old-fashioned plate? A good old-fashioned plate of... 